Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Tally. Welcome. Come join us for the month of December. I wanted to sit down and chat with you guys um, to talk about my training this December, my approach to fitness and how it has just changed, not only for like this month, but in general. Like I've just had a bit of a, a mindset shift in my approach to training and working out. If you guys didn't know, you might not know, I am a personal trainer. So um, obviously fitness is kind of a big part of my life. And if you guys watch me regularly, you'll know that personal training is now a bit more part-time for me. And I actually am working on loads of other really fun stuff. So I feel very, very lucky to have such a variety in my job. So to give you some quick context, when I first started out um, training, working out, this is like four or five years ago, I was really into the gym and I got very quickly into the bodybuilding, weightlifting side of things, um, which, definitely has its benefits and for me definitely had its drawbacks as well. Along my fitness journey, if you've been around a while, you'll know that my kind of approach to fitness has evolved over that time. I'm definitely not training like a bodybuilding split anymore. There's a lot more freedom in my workout routine. Like I don't want to define it anymore. I think that's what's changed the most. Before I was like, I train in a bodybuilding way and I felt like I had to fit into a fitness box. I feel like in the fitness world, people want you to either be a runner, you're an endurance athlete, you do CrossFit, you're a bro, you lift. Like you couldn't just work out for enjoyment. And I think that's what's happened over the past year or so. I've really come to realize what makes me happy when it comes to training is actually a whole variety of stuff. And I no longer feel the pressure to like put myself in this like weight training box that I felt like I lived in for a long time and grew to resent almost. Quite a lot this year, I really wasn't necessarily looking forward to my gym workouts, but I was really looking forward to other styles of training. So this December, I'm mixing it up. I'm not putting pressure on myself to like do a split. If I get to the gym, if I do workouts, fabulous, but they don't have to be weight based. I'm really, really, really trying to be intuitive this December with my training. So thinking about on the day, what makes me happy. From the bodybuilding days, the kind of voice in my head always said, oh, but you should be doing at least one leg day a week. You should be doing this a week. You're gonna lose your gains if you don't do X, Y, and Z. Um, but in reality, because I don't care really much about my appearance anymore, and I don't train for aesthetics, because I've taken that pressure away from myself, I can just focus on working out for pure enjoyment and love and just because that makes me feel really good. So what makes me feel really good right now and what I'm gonna be doing this December is obviously I'm gonna be teaching three beat spin classes a week. So it's a class I teach at Dig Me Fitness. You've probably heard me go on about it now. Um, but I'm teaching three times a week. I just started last week. So already I've got three sessions of 45 minutes in the bag every week. So I know I'm gonna be getting nice and sweaty, getting the endorphins. So I'm really fortunate that I can call that my job, like I know. But then besides that, um, going to the gym on my own, like I like to do it on occasion and you'll see later in this video, I do have a gym based workout for you, but something a bit different to what I normally share. Um, and we'll get onto that in a minute. But I'm really enjoying going to other studios to train as well, such as Unit. Now Unit is a studio in London, they do like a whole mix of training um, seven days a week. So each day is like a different style of training. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, they do strength-based kind of circuit training. So you essentially doing your full body weights workout in a class setting with 30 other people and you have a partner you work with. And for me right now, that is my favorite way to weight train because I'm with someone, it's in a class, you're getting everything done and if I can make those classes, I'm gonna try and hit those up. And then you've probably seen in my vlogs as well, I really, really, really love going to the Trooper class on a Saturday at UNIT. So Trooper is their kind of Metcon style workout. So you're using body weight and resistance training um, in like this high intensity circuit. The atmosphere and the vibe there is so good. So yeah, I'm really enjoying classes right now, which I didn't think was me. I was always a bit of a lone wolf. I like to go and train on my own. I like to do my own thing. Um, but now I'm into my classes. I think because it's always spinning a lot of plates with work and life and everything else, um, that I feel the pressure is just off when I can just go to someone and they can just 
push me and do it for me. And I think that's why I'm loving classes so much. So that is my plan for December. But there will be times when I can't go to classes and there'll be times when I'm not feeling like going to a class. And on those days, like yesterday, I went and did a kettlebell full body workout at the gym. So, like I said, traditionally I was going to the gym and you've seen my style of workouts I've posted before, lots of weights and stuff. But I'm really into doing more circuit style weight training at the moment. So as part of my December workout update, I have prepared for you a kettlebell only workout for you to try. So you could replace the kettlebells for dumbbells if you wanted, um, but this workout is just designed for you, probably you're very similar to me, we're all busy, we've all got so much stuff going on. If you've only got 30 minutes, 40 minutes in the gym, this is the workout for you. It really does take 30 minutes. And I'm really, really sore today from it. Like my butt is so sore from all the different types of lunges you will see. Um, but I really hope you enjoy it. I'm going to be doing a little voiceover for it. So I will coach you through each exercise to make sure you nail your form. But leave a comment below. Let me know what your plan is uh, for your workouts this December. Like, what are you doing? Are you in the gym? Are you in classes? Do you like running? What's your thing? I would love to know. Okay, but enough of me talking. It's time to get to the gym. Here is your kettlebell workout. Let me know if you give it a try this week as well. I always love to hear your feedback. So for this full body kettlebell workout today, you need two pairs of kettlebells. I've got two 12 kilo kettlebells and two 10 kilo kettlebells, but you might just wanna have one pair that suits you. We start off with a leg based circuit. The first exercise being a front squat using two kettlebells. As you saw at the beginning, I cleaned them up onto my shoulders and the kettlebells will then rest just above the elbows. As you squat down, you want to keep the elbows as high as possible and you're going to hug the handles into your collarbones. Now, you're really going to feel this in your core, so make sure to squeeze your tummy and squeeze your glutes as well. This is going to really help stabilize your upper body, keep your body as upright as possible because not only are we working your legs here, we really are working your core. Moving on to the second exercise in this mini circuit, it is a lunge variation. So you hold a kettlebell in each hand, you're going to do a reverse lunge, then on the same leg you go into a curtsy lunge. So you step straight backwards and then you step slightly across, making sure that both hips face front and you push through the front leg, really drive through the heel because we're really thinking about working the glute on the front leg on each lunge. And the third exercise in this lower body sequence is another lunge deadlift combination. This time we're going into a lateral lunge with two kettlebells in each hand, one kettlebell either side of the leg. Then you stand up nice and tall, hinge the hips back into a Romanian deadlift whereby the legs stay slightly stiff, knees soft and slightly bent, but it's all about hinging the hips backwards and feeling an extension in the backs of the hamstrings. And then you just repeat, so you do lateral lunge, Romanian deadlift, lateral lunge. So with the first circuit, do each exercise back to back before resting for about 60 seconds and then moving on to do the circuit another two times through, so three times in total. To kick off the upper body circuit for circuit number two, we are starting with bent over rows. Now look at this position, you've got soft knees, hips are hinged back and you've got a really flat back. To maintain that, you need to make sure you're squeezing your tummy and squeezing your bum so you keep that nice form. The only little thing I've added in to mix it up is added in a bit of a rotation into the row. So start with the palms down and then turn the hands in as you bring them up to your ribs and think kettlebells coming to the hips rather than them ending up in the armpits. For exercise number two, you need to put the kettlebells on the floor and go into a nice solid plank position see that strong straight body. The aim of the game is to try and get your chest lower to the floor so we're almost doing like a deficit press up, increasing the range of motion to lengthen the chest muscle to basically make it a bit harder for you. If you're struggling with a full press up, do try these on your knees, it's going to help you get stronger in a full press up. And for the final exercise in this upper body circuit, we are doing single arm squat to upright rows with the kettlebell. So take a kettlebell in one hand, hand on the other hip, just to make you think about squeezing your core, squeezing your bum. I want you to squat down, pick the kettlebell up off the floor. As you 
stand fully, start bringing the elbow up nice and high, keeping the hand down, so you're leading with the elbow. We're really aiming to work the shoulders and the delts, okay? So really think elbow high, hand down, don't bring the kettlebell higher than your collarbone. And then we're going to finish with a full body finisher. A kettlebell clean and press. So you start with the kettlebell sitting on the floor. You kind of throw it up to collarbone height, shifting the hands from the top of the kettlebell to the side of the handles. And then when they're there, you press from the collarbones and the chin up above to fully extend the arms, squeeze your butt, squeeze your core. You don't want to be leaning back. We're going to do a pyramid, okay? So you do 10 reps of this for your first round, then you do eight reps then six, then four, then two. I'll pop it all in the description box below. And then the second exercise in this finisher, which you complete back to back, is a single arm kettlebell swing or a two-handed kettlebell swing, if you're more familiar with that. So yeah, with the pyramid, like I was saying, you start with a high number of reps and you work to a low number of reps. So for this finisher, it goes 10 kettlebell clean and press, followed by 20 kettlebell swings. Then it goes eight, kettlebell clean and press followed by 16 kettlebell swings. Six clean and press, 12 kettlebell swings, four clean and press, eight kettlebell swings, two clean and press, four kettlebell swings and so on and so forth. The aim of the game is to finish it in the quickest time you can and you are done. Thank you so much for watching this workout. I really hope you enjoyed finding out about how I'm tackling my fitness this December. And I hope you tried this kettlebell workout. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think, if you've given it a go or you, if you have any questions or queries and I will do my best to get back to you. See you tomorrow. Bye.